Me din din door. I'm me fi Ghana eba America bra me din fi ju miensa. Si si me din dun si ya. To wit, my name is Endora, and I'm from Lando Lakes High School. Three years ago, I traveled from Ghana to America. America was a new world for me, and I thought this was my chance to change my identity. But I was wrong. My identity was something I was never going to be able to change and never can. It may interest you to know that my tongue is permanently twisted to roll out a Ghanaian accent. You guys, all oh, take a look at this. Till this day, no matter how hard I try, I still say hippopotamus. <laughs> I arrived at Shores of America to a cultural shock because everything was different. In Ghana, I didn't have to break any barriers to make new friends, but it was contrary over here because I had people from different cultures identify with themselves, and I had to force my way to earn friendships. However, my accent became a barrier because no one understood me when I spoke. They wanted me to speak the way they did, in the American accent. Surveys have shown that African American girls choose black dolls, white dolls over black ones. Why? Why should this be an issue that raises concerns? Because, truth be told, they are all similar and all save the and all serve the same purposes. America is a really diverse country, and people haven't yet fully understood the cultural diversity in this country. I mean, there's nowhere on this earth that you find a mix of race and cultures. African American, Indian American, Jewish American, the list is endless. In the light of this, people try very hard to impress others, but in the bargain, lose their identity. A U.S. passport uh, or a, US, a green card cannot erase my country of birth. That is a cultural prominent icon, Maya Angelou. In her poem, I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings, she speaks about identity and loving ourselves. Jay-Z once said, identity is a prison you can never escape, but the way to redeem from your past is not to run from it, but to try to understand it and use it as a foundation to grow. We must use our identity as a unifying tool to counter the divisions created by the politicians. After all, when they leave those platforms, they pop champagnes and dine together. Let me end by reminding you of one of the greatest presidents America has had, Abraham Lincoln. What was his identity when he first entered the White House? a slave owner, but he used his identity to sign the Emancipation Proclamation abolishing slavery. So I have taken a stand by embracing my culture and heritage, and I urge you all sitting here to do the same. Love yourself and believe yourself no matter what race or gender you fall into, and this will, and this will break the barriers that divide us as one nation under God. Thank you.